Rob, tonight investigators are still looking for a suspect that they said hit a Chicago police officer as he was fleeing a traffic stop earlier this evening. Slung over the shoulders of his colleagues, a Chicago police officer hobbled to a nearby SUV. Police say the officer had been hit and dragged by a car fleeing a traffic stop. But he had his door open like he was going to jump out of the car. Moments after hitting the officer, Takara Murphy says she saw the speeding driver dangling from the car. He was hanging out of the car, yes, like hanging, like he trying to like not crash himself, but like hanging out of the car. And in the process, sideswiped her SUV near 63rd in Wabash. The driver never stopped. Flying up 63rd with the door wide open, and I don't know, I thought maybe he was going to get over, but he didn't. He actually swerved into my lane, hit my car, and continued, flew around the corner like a bat out of hell. Like, we seen him coming this way, and the door was already open, so it's more like, a, what are you doing? And, like, we're trying to swerve and get away from him. Police say officers had been conducting a traffic stop when the offender suddenly reversed and dragged the officer, pinning him between the suspect's fleeing car and a viaduct. Police say the officer fired his gun. It's a chaotic and uncertain time for Chicago police. This all happened Friday evening on 63rd Street, just a few miles from where Officer Ella French was shot and killed and her partner badly injured Saturday night, also during a traffic stop. Tonight, Chicago police now say they have two officers being treated here at the University of Chicago Hospital as a result of traffic. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.